Hello, mate. I, uh, <laughs> I thought I'd uh, design a new camera strap I had in my brain, and it's completely handmade. You usually find um, braided cordage camera straps like this for 50, 60 bucks, even higher on uh, eBay and other sites. It took me about 20 minutes to make and $3 of material. This type of, uh, I think it's 12 millimeter cordage is uh, like a 60 cents a foot. You buy it in bulk, it's a lot cheaper. And uh, this is two millimeter cordage, which is rated for 500 pounds. They only required uh, four components. Two millimeter cordage, shrink tubing, which you just heat with a match, and uh, this uh, 10 or 12 millimeter cordage, and these uh, split rings. So yeah, one, two split rings, two millimeter cordage, shrink tubage, and 10 millimeter cordage. These you can actually get on eBay. What these are is uh, Swiss Army knife split rings. They're made out of uh, tempered stainless steel. You can get like a six pack for five bucks, so a buck a piece. What those do is they actually go on to like the loop right here, which mine's missing on your uh, Swiss Army knife. So you buy those and you go to the hardware store and you get some large, uh, a half inch shrink tubing when you slide this on you take a couple matches you don't actually put it on there but you actually run it back and forth and it shrinks up uh, really quickly I think everybody knows what the hell shrink tubing is right right it's uh, this stuff shrink tubing heat shrink tubing and there we go and uh, here's the cordage the two millimeter cordage that I made the end loops out of right there and uh, then here's the uh, 10 or 12 millimeter cordage. I was gonna make another one of these as a gift next out of uh, this colored stuff here. And uh, the uh, typical ones for Leica are 42 inches long. 42, I made mine 44 because I'm fat. You know, my camera straps need to be longer. And uh, that's it. I mean, it's pretty indestructible. Oh yeah, how you get the holes. And out of these, I actually uh, take a uh, tiny screwdriver and I'll actually wiggle the screwdriver through the cordage without actually breaking it and push it through the other side and then kind of make a hole. And then I use a soldering iron or a soldering gun, you don't have to, to uh, burn the hole to make it permanent actually after I put the hole through. So I don't actually cut this cordage, the big cordage. And then of course I just uh, thread this cordage with the small cordage, like a needle, just pull it through, tie a couple knots, and then I'll burn, uh, there's two knots on each uh, bit of this cordage, and then I'll burn and melt the secondary knot, the one that's furthest away, and then use a pair of pliers to squish it so it can't unravel, and then I just slide the shrink tubing on and then heat it with a couple matches, and uh, then that's it. Like. 20, 25 minutes, and that's it. So you got a really fancy looking. I think it's fancy looking. You would buy one of these. I'm not selling them, all right? Don't ask me to sell them. I don't sell stuff. That's my rule number one. I don't sell stuff. So I had this new type of camera strap in my brain, and uh, yeah, it's about, yeah, about $3.50 of materials. Yeah. Somewhere right around there. Let's say five bucks, right? Close enough. At least the hell out of a hundred dollars you'd pay for one on eBay. There's no way this is this is. You can actually lift a car with this stuff. I think I can't remember how many thousands of pounds this crap is rated for. A lot. I know the two millimeter cordage is rated for five hundred pounds, and uh, it's braided with a nylon core. This is some really tough stuff. And that's it. Yeah, these are called Victorinox Split Army, uh, Split Army, <laughs> uh, Split Rings, uh, Swiss Army Knife uh, Stainless Steel uh, Split Rings. You get a five pack for five bucks or six bucks on eBay. I think these are quarter inch in size. Thank you so much for watching. So, in honor of my new Fujifilm uh, GFX 50R medium format, I've designed a new camera strap. I hope you like it. Make one yourself for your camera. I'm a DIY, do-it-yourself guru, especially on light mods, but leather cases. I make all sorts of stuff. I can make it myself better and cheaper, and you get a better satisfaction. It's like, where'd you get that shit at? It's like, I made it myself. Like, really? <whistles> Impressive. Impresses some people, anyway. 
Not the chicks, though. The chicks aren't impressed by any of that crap. And it's like, oh my god. You're cheap. You made it yourself. Why, could, why didn't you buy one? <laughs> that is kind of true. You know, when you're like, another man sees another man made something, like, whoa, that's awesome, man. When like a woman sees that you made something, it's like, oh, you're cheap. You had to make it yourself. Why couldn't you afford to buy one? Cheapskate. You broke ass loser. <laughs> you know it's true. You know it's true. You know it. Thank you so much for watching. And wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fuji!